today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. In search of a high-performance bay boat that will handle most adverse conditions with ease? If so, we'll be taking a look at the Triton 240 LTS. A bay boat with an overall length of 24 feet, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and max horsepower rating of 350. Standout features of the Triton 240 LTS. A performance hull with a flat, padded running surface and flared bow design provides a fast, dry, and smooth ride to any destination, even in marginal conditions. A large casting deck on the bow provides plenty of room for multiple anglers to fish from, while also providing large storage space for gear below. A must-have for all anglers, insulated live wells in the transom will keep your bait fresh and healthy all day long by keeping the water cool, allowing you to focus on catching fish. If you're looking for a family-centered boat that has all the fishing features Dad requires, we'll be checking out the Release 230DC. A dual console with an overall length of 23 feet, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and max horsepower rating of 300. Standout features on the Release 230DC. Comfortable bow seating offers a great place for the family to relax and enjoy the sunshine, while providing plenty of extra storage space below. The unique design of a dual console provides excellent storage space for gear and a roomy head for the family. When bringing along the kids, a ski pylon on the transom of the boat provides a safe and secure place to pull a water toy. Want to run offshore in a luxurious custom vessel designed for the avid offshore angler? If so, we'll be taking a look at the Buddy Davis 28. A center console with an overall length of 28 feet, a beam of 9 feet 6 inches, and max horsepower rating of 600. Standout features on the Buddy Davis 28. A large Carolina bow flare makes for a functional hull design that provides lift and turns spray downward, keeping everyone on board comfortable and dry. Storage boxes in the bow, in-deck rod lockers, and an oversized console create a large storage capacity that will ensure nothing is left behind. A sportfish style open cockpit provides a large, uncluttered space for multiple anglers to fish from, with quick access to a large fish box and multiple live wells. Join our hosts George Labonte and Rick Riles as they conduct walkthroughs and review key features, all to help you decide if this is the best boat for you. Welcome to another episode of Florida Sportsman Best Boat. I'm George Labonte, boating editor for Florida Sportsman Magazine. And I'm Captain Rick Riles. George, another show, another three cool boats. We're going to start with the Triton 240 LTS, move into the Release 230 DC, and then on to the Buddy Davis 28. Three very cool boats, Rick. Hey, I was talking to the guys from Triton, and they really engineered this boat for a dry ride, a boat that can get you outside the inlet. They put a flat pad on the bottom of it, and they've added some bow flare to the boat. It's supposed to really be dry. I'm looking forward to checking that boat out. But if you're more family-oriented, if you're going to take your family with you, we're seeing a real return to dual consoles. That Release 230 DC is a sweet dual console boat. Hey, how about the Buddy Davis 28? Now, this is the entry into Buddy Davis world. 28-foot boat that's got all the features of a big boat. I mean, this is like a big sport fish boat in a smaller package, but there's nothing small about it. I mean, it's just such a cool version of a bigger boat. Yeah, Rick, we've got three totally unique boats. Let's check them all out. When we come back, host George Labonte and Rick Riles take a closer look at a boat designed to run fast and fish hard, the Triton 240 LTS. This segment brought to you by MyFWC. Life jackets save lives. Hey, nice boats. Thanks. Borrowed it from a friend. Do I need to wear this? I don't know. <laughs> so where are we going? I don't know. Paddling is one of the greatest ways to enjoy Florida's waterways but always make sure you are prepared for the journey by getting your boating safety education. Regardless of your experience, know your limits and always wear your life jacket. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts George Labonte and Rick Riles as they take a closer look at the Triton 240 LTS. Representing the 17 to 24 foot class in the bay boat category, the Triton 240 LTS has an overall length of 24 feet, a beam of eight feet six inches, and a max horsepower rating of 350. Designed to float shallow and provide a dry, smooth ride, she has a draft of 13 inches, a dead rise of 15 degrees, 
a dry weight of 2,550 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 96 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. George, we're on the 240 Triton LTS. And let me tell you what Triton did. Triton's a, a company that started out building a very specialized boat. This is their entry into boats that'll do a whole lot of different things. Absolutely, this takes an inshore, freshwater kind of inspired boat into the saltwater, beach running kind of environment. Name it, it'll do it. it what, what you have is a hard time finding water it won't fish. Well, obviously, you're not gonna be 50 miles offshore most days on this, but you can certainly still offshore fish and you can certainly still throw a plastic worm at a bass if you want to. Rick, one of the features on this boat that stands out to me for a person that wants to go out on the bay or get out on the beach and run when it's a little bit choppy is the running surface on the boat. This boat's got a flat pad like a bass boat traditionally is built on and a really nice Carolina flare that's gonna deflect a lot of spray. I mean, it's gonna keep that water down when you're in that bay chop and keep everybody on the boat dry. George, let's hop in the boat because I really want to see how Triton used 24 feet. That's a big challenge for all the 24 footers now. Did you use your space well? Okay, Rick, let's take a look at some of the cooling options on the Triton 240 LTS. Every one of these boats comes standard with a 64 quart Yeti Tundra cooler with C-deck on the pad on a sliding track in the back. They also offer an additional 64 Yeti for a front seat and another drink box, but let's take a look at the granddaddy of all boxes on this boat. Well, there's a lot more than size when you're talking about this fish box up front. It's insulated with the same grade of insulation that the Yetis are. You know what that means, George? That thing will hold ice for days. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is a 386 quart box with a macerator built in that's also standard on the boat. This thing will handle anything you need to put in it. For a boat this size, the type of fishing that you're gonna do on this boat, you couldn't even come close to filling this box. That's my size fish box. I could use that for a fish box and you could use the drink holder for what you can. One more crack like that and I'm gonna put you in that box. <laughs> One of the things that makes this boat so great when you're inshore, George, you got plenty of room up here for three guys to cast. Absolutely, and this seat, Rick, I don't know why all saltwater boats don't have a pedestal seat on the front. I mean, what could be easier when you're sitting there casting over and over again than being able to lean or sit on this seat? You ever wonder what's new in live wells? How on earth we could further improve a live well? How can you make it better? Step back here and I'll show you how. What are we looking at? Let me tell you, how many times have you thrown a bait at a fish and the bait was just too tired. The fish realized right away. Sure. One of the reasons may well have been because the water temperature in the live well. You know what you do to improve it? You foam it all the way around. Once again, with this high grade insulation, keeps your bait the water temperature of the water they just came out of. I like the concept, Rick. Another thing about these live wells, they're very big. I mean, this live well right here is a 58 gallon release well. In addition to that, you're standing on a 15 gallon live well. George, I mentioned early on that this boat did a lot of things. Here's a perfect example of that. This is a great platform to stand on to cast from if you're inshore, but you go offshore and you let it get a little choppy, I wanna be sitting in these jump seats right back here. I like those jump seats. Here's a situation where you may wanna do a lot of things in the same day, George. Take a look. George, in a way, this boat kinda of reminds me of my garage. Rods everywhere. You can certainly put a bunch of them on her. Well, 30 is the magic number in case you want to know, okay? You can carry 30 rods. Let's look at these rod holders right here, Rick. You've got 10 rod holders that are completely out of the way. Ten, five stainless steel rod holders on each side. Go through the hard top. Never in your way when you're walking around the boat. Give me a solid hard top like this one and give me a place where they all fit through easily. This There's a lot to like here, George. There's no question. When you're trying to build a boat that'll do a whole lot of things, all the way from the flats to the Gulf Stream, and you've got 24 feet to work with, each inch has to be laid out right. Every little bit counts, there's no doubt about it. When we return, host George Labonte and Rick Riles step aboard a boat designed with family fun in mind, the Release 230 DC. This segment brought to you by Fishing Nasara, the best sport fishing in Costa Rica. Fishing Nosara, Costa Rica's best sport fishing. Bite the world's baddest fish with top quality boats, professional tackle, and family friendly English speaking captains. Stay in the authentic nature preserve with wildlife at your doorstep. World class surfing, nature tours, yoga, and fine dining are all at your fingertips in Nosara. Packages start at $700 per person. Don't delay, book today. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat, 
Join our host, George Labonte, as he meets with Tom Dante, Dean of Instruction at Chapman School of Seamanship, to discuss boating safety and education in this week's seminar series. Not only does it make good sense to take a safe boating course, you're actually legally required to take one if you're born after January 1st, 1988. Now you can take these classes online, but there's a lot of advantages to taking it at an approved facility where they're going to actually give you wheel time and hands-on instructions. I'm with Tom Dante at the Chapman School of Seamanship. Tom, why don't you tell me about some of the advantages of taking the class here? Sure, George. Um, well, we start off with the uh, safety equipment that's on board the vessel. The students uh, uh, learn what they have to have on board and how to use it. Uh, they learn about the rules of the road. Um, they get underway time on board the vessel with the United States Coast Guard licensed captain. And also at the end of the course, the students take a 50 question test that they have to pass. Once they pass that, we send that into the state of Florida and uh, they get their uh, safe boating certificate card. Now, when you receive this card, you're actually required to carry the card and a picture ID with you at all times if you're operating a boat that's greater than 10 horsepower. This is just good sense and good boating. Now, let's check out the Release 230DC. Representing the dual console category, the Release 230DC has an overall length of 23 feet, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 300. Built for water activities and family comfort, she has a draft of 16 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a dry weight of 3,500 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 140 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. George, let me introduce you to the Release 230 DC. DC, of course, standing for dual console. And you and I get so focused on fishing sometimes, we forget about the sport of boating. Boating is a whole different lifestyle. Oh, absolutely, Rick. I mean, I you automatically assume that if you need a boat, it's because you want to go fishing on it. There's a whole world of people that couldn't care less about fishing. Now, this boat fished good. We caught fish offshore on this boat today, but it's not the theme. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not the bullseye for this boat. Absolutely. Where we're sitting right here really sums it up. I mean, when I look at this boat, I think about family. I think about going out, having fun. I think about water sports, just being on the water. Exactly. And what a great way to put a group of people on the water and keep them comfortable. Okay, Rick, this really says it all. I mean, this is just kind of comfortable seating, chilling out at the sandbar. I mean, this, this, I, I could get used to this. And let me tell you what, it's very nicely finished up here too. You know, the whole boat's nicely finished. I mean, very, very good kind of fit and finish for this boat and this price range too. I mean, this boat is finished out real nice. Now you've got seating for how many people up here? Four, maybe five. I sure. mean, you've got kids, sure. five people. Storage underneath here, they're gonna use every inch of space on this boat. You're not trying to make room so you can fish. You're trying to put features in a boat and make them all practical. Right, and they had 23 feet to work with. That was it, and they used it well. Man, I love the doors that go into the side consoles. There's a real advantage to dual consoles that you and I have talked about before. Yeah, let's have a look at these. It's pretty cool. Rick, let's take a look at these dual consoles. Well, everything you need, everything you get in a center console is right here. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, here's your helm. Here's basically all your instrumentation. Yes, but look here, George. Having two consoles gives you twice the storage of the console of a 23 foot. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, double the space, double the room to put stuff away, seating to both sides, and this easy pass through to get up to that front seating there. It's a really smart design for a family. Speaking of family, the hard top, you can have everybody in the shade. You know, this little bit of shade right here makes a huge difference. If you're sitting here having a cold drink, eating a sandwich on the sandbar, you can get out of the sun. If you're here, everybody's in the shade. If you close this door, everybody's out of the spray while you're running. Absolutely. This boat can fish, but they almost disguise it. You've got a really nice fish box down here, and you've got a great live well in the seat behind there. Over here, of course, is a cooler for the family's drinks, but the fishing features are almost out of the way to where you don't notice. Yeah, it's secondary to the real use of this boat. It's fun kind of going out with the family, but there's no way you're gonna have a boat like this and dad's not gonna wanna take the kids fishing occasionally. This boat will absolutely do it. Rick, there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do in the water, running around, not sitting on the sandbar. Let's take a look at the back of the boat and show you some of the things we got going on back here. All right, Rick, look at back here. Great big platform here to swim off of. Integrated boarding ladder, very simple to get in and out of the water on. And what about this right here? And what says more about the mission of this boat 
than a permanently mounted tow bit back here. You're going to be pulling somebody around on something. Oh, absolutely. You got kids in a boat like this and you're riding around on the intracoastal. At some point, somebody's going to insist they're jumping in the water and you're pulling me behind this boat. This boat says jump in the water. Rick, back here, you've got an entirely separate kind of lounging area. I mean, between up there and back here, how many people can you fit on this boat? Yeah, but George, we got plenty of seating. We've gone over that. But here's another one of those hidden fishing features. This seat drops down and greatly increases the room in your cockpit. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and you've got a limited amount of space back here. That really opens it up nice. This boat, when you look at it from top to bottom, this is really a well-rounded family boat that you can do a lot of different things on. George, no matter how many grandkids I have, I'm never going to lose my desire to go offshore. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I still want a boat you can do that with. Let me tell you what, we were out in some three footers this morning maybe. This boat rode very stable. Absolutely, Rick. You know what? I was running along next to you in a much bigger boat and you guys were really eating up that chop in this boat. I was really impressed. Yeah, I got to tell you, if you're looking for a boat for your family, and that's your first priority, is getting the kids out on the water, going to the sandbar, pulling the toys, all the whole nine yards. This is a great one for you if you still want to be able to sneak out and go fishing with your buddies. You have got to take a look at this release, 230 DC. When we come back, host George Labonte and Rick Riles check out a hardcore fishing boat built to handle the toughest offshore conditions with ease, the Buddy Davis 28. This segment brought to you by Evan Rood. The outboards that are changing everything. The future of boating is here. Now get all the efficient performance of an Evinrude E-Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Fuel economy is everything. I was really shocked how fuel efficient it is. Anywhere from 40 to 50 miles further on a tank of fuel. All day on the water. I told my wife, I said, you know, I can't think of the last time I filled up. It's more money in the bank for me. The best-in-class fuel economy of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. To learn more, visit evanrude.com. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts Rick Riles and George Labonte as they check out the Buddy Davis 28. Representing the 27 to 30 foot class in the center console category, the Buddy Davis 28 has an overall length of 28 feet, a beam of 9 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 600. Designed to fish in the roughest of waters, she has a draft of 20 inches, a dead rise of 24.5 degrees, a dry weight of 7,400 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 200 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. George, welcome aboard the 28 Buddy Davis Center Console. It's a sport fish on a trailer. I like that. You know, this style of boat is built for big weather. But you know, when you get in a boat like this, you feel secure. That bow flare is gonna kick all that spray out to the sides. When you're going out the inlet, that inlet's a little choppy today. I mean, you go out that inlet, you're not gonna get a wet on a boat like this right here. I mean, it's built to knock down seas. George, we didn't take a drop. We went blowing through the inlet, didn't take a drop. This boat is built by a custom boat builder. The features are what you want them to be. Up here in the bow, George, let's say you're somebody that's got a lot of friends. You can take them with you and ride up here. But me, we all know I have no friends. <laughs> I would have all this open. The beauty is you can do it the way you want it. Rick, let's not overlook the fact that this is a really plush setup up here too. I mean, this boat, has everything about this boat says custom. Look at this upholstery. I mean, the bolster, this accent, kind of the coloring and stuff, and then the seating, the backrest. It looks really, really custom up here. But one thing you and I can certainly agree on is we love the size of this massive fish box. Yeah, it's a great big box under the deck here, and also the seat on the front of the console too. Insulated, drink cooler. I mean, a perfect place for it. Very comfortable place to ride from on this boat. So, you know, you've got fishing and cruising set up up here. But look at the size of the gunnel here. This big flare makes a lot of space. You know, they put a couple of rod holders in here, but underneath that, you've got a rope locker here. This boat's got a windlass on it, which is really useful if you don't feel like pulling your anchor up. Let me tell you something. One thing I learned about this boat right away, it lands so soft that you can sit up here where you could never sit up here on a lot of other boats. Absolutely. Another point on this boat too, you've got a space on either side with rod lockers with a unibut, you pop the butt off, you can store four fifties under the deck. They slide forward underneath there. Let's take a walk. There's a bunch of stuff going on back here we need to look at too. Let's walk back and check out the middle of the boat. Rick, first thing I want to point out, this hard top right here, like all the Buddy Davises, unique feature about it, they paint the top, they paint all this tubing, and they paint the hull sides with all grip. That's another custom boat feature that you're going to find on this, and the all grip really looks nice. 
George, we know how wide this boat is. It's a beamy boat. And one of the advantages is when you do that, you give yourself room for a big console. And this is certainly a stout one here. The console's got a lot of room in it. There's a head in there and it's finished out really nice, but there's a lot of room for storage. I mean, you can put gear bags and buckets and things in there and store all kinds of tackle down below also. Look at the size of this display panel. This is a brand new boat. It hasn't gotten the electronics installed yet, but look at the room you've got to put two huge multifunction displays right here. This boat holds up to 280 gallons of fuel. Let me tell you what that means, George. We were cruising at a very nice speed today, getting two miles to the gallon. That's 560 miles of range. Rick, if you're making one of those long runs, you've got great seating right here. These are convertible. Get up there, put your feet up, and take that long ride. You're good to go. This is super comfortable. When we get there, George, that's when it becomes all business. Step back here and let me show you what I'm talking about. George, once we've run 200 miles to get out here, try and find me a fish we couldn't catch from here. Big boat cockpit in a smaller boat. I love this layout. Love the live well. 45 gallons is enough to keep your bait alive while you're fishing. Yeah, absolutely. And that live well there in the helm station, you've got a tackle drawer right there. You've got a kill box in the transom. You've seen that in every Carolina charter boat you've ever been on. They always put a fish box back here in the transom. I mean, this you feel like you're fishing in the regular traditional sport fish style in this cockpit. You know, that comes back to the Buddy Davis vibe, if you will. It just has its own feel to it. You know, another thing, Rick, you can walk through and get out on the transom. You can fight a fish around these motors easily, and you can walk back and forth here freely, too. So, George, if you're the kind of guy that is stepping down from his big sport fish boat but loves that vibe, the Buddy Davis 28 Center Console has that vibe. You don't want to miss an opportunity to ride on this boat. George, another backbreaking day at the coal mine for you and I. We barely got through it. Man, I love that Triton 240. Let me tell you something. That boat lived up to everything Triton said it would do. Absolutely, Rick. You know, the release too, for us, we love to go fishing, but that boat showed you can have a fishing boat and still spend a great day at the sandbar with the family. But what can you say about the Buddy Davis 28? You feel like you're in the cockpit of a sport fishing boat for the minute you step on it. Absolutely, three winners, another great week. Hey, if you'd like any more information about the boats you've seen this week or any boats you see on Florida Sportsman Best Boat, visit floridasportsman.com. Or we'll see you on next week's edition of Florida Sportsman Best Boat. When filming for Florida Sportsman Best Boat, the cast and crew docked and dined at Pirates Cove Marina in Stewart, Florida. Family owned and operated, featuring 50 renovated rooms with an outstanding restaurant and a full service 50 slip marina. Each month, turn to Florida Sportsman for the best in boating and fishing coverage.